So, I wanted to talk about this story I seen that people were sending to me. Um, it happened here in North Carolina where a uh, an officer, a North Carolina officer, was fired for body slamming an 11-year-old child. And I'm going to play this footage and give some commentary about what I'm thinking about this and the comments I'm seeing about this uh, from black people. Let's hear this out. Tonight, it's the video capturing a stroll down a North Carolina school hallway ending in an alleged assault. A school resource officer caught body slamming an 11-year-old boy to the ground. Not once, but twice. Now, we see that's completely inappropriate. We understand early that's completely inappropriate. I don't know what the boy said to him or what happened, what transpired, but it doesn't matter what was said. That's completely inappropriate behavior. Let's go ahead and get that out the way now. Now, this is a black resource officer. Let's watch what happens. As a school system, as an administrator, as a district, we're disappointed. As a community, we're embarrassed. The surveillance video not capturing audio, but giving the department enough evidence to fire the officer. I, I never see anything like that in my life. The boy's grandfather says the impact of the body slam left the 11 year old temporarily unconscious and stresses firing the officer isn't enough. I'll ask him a simple question. Do you have children? Would you like, would you like me to grab your son and throw your son against the wall and slam your son head first on a hard concrete? He could have killed my grandson. The incident, the latest in a string of assaults on students by school staff just last month in Florida. It's embarrassing, okay? Video caught a deputy grabbing a 15-year-old girl, later taking her down. The officer charged with child abuse. Justice this boy's family is now fighting for. We asked that he be charged with everything they can charge him with. And tonight, that officer in North Carolina faces a misdemeanor at minimum with potential jail time. And if that boy has lasting injuries, a more serious charge could... Now, y'all listen here, all right? What you'll notice if you paid attention closely is that the people that are being fired is black men. Now, I'm not saying they don't deserve to be fired. Understand what I'm saying here. We have seen in your lifetime where a white cop cannot just rough up, slam, which, I mean, again, that shit is atrocious behavior, and still not be criminally charged. I saw people in the comments, of course, black people, being ignorant, acting like this is a win for black people. No, now you you are becoming the face of police brutality. Like, that's not a win for you. We don't be, un like, it, it, I mean, it, it reminds me of Nelly Fuller quote. If you don't understand the system of white supremacy, everything else will confuse you. You don't even understand the propaganda that's being waged against you right now. As black Officers in these schools are becoming the face for brutality. Being fired. Whereas cops, white cops can murder black people on film and nothing. Or they get a light fucking sentence like that Geiger bitch down in Texas. Black people, this isn't a win for you. That man should be fired. That man should face charges. But when you look at the hypocrisy of all the shit that these white uh, uh, officers, no matter what in what setting that they're doing it, look at all the shit they get away with. I would much rather see black people demand that this system keep the same energy. I understand this grandfather's grief. 
And if he wasn't, if the officer ain't in jail, he'd have to see me in his front yard. Let me see that move real quick, bruh, bruh. Come out here and show me what type of slam, how you lifted him. Let me see what you got going on right now. He'd have to see me in real life. I'm not sitting around talking to white news media about what I think the justice system should do to him. And I'm going to do it my damn self. That's just me. With one of my children. Or in this case, if that was one of my grandchildren, that motherfucker would have to see me. But let's understand what's happening here. The black man is already becoming the face of pedophilia. Sexual deviance when it comes to rape and sexual harassment. And now they tagging us with police brutality. And black people are sitting around giving this system a round of applause. Be careful. Understand what you're doing when you do this. Because this is a very serious issue. This is a very serious problem. And I done told y'all many times. And the greats before me said it. Some of our greatest said it. Without us. This system can't conduct itself the way it does. Without our round of applause. Without us cheering them on. I'm seeing black people all in these fucking comments. Talking about yes. Yes, yes. That's cool. But then what about the white man though? Because he's murdering us. And we have to be mindful of that. Y'all, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Comment if you feel need to comment. Links to follow me on social media in the description box. Order a t-shirt from a brother. Donate via Patreon. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.